So first question, obviously, has got to be, uh, who's Nina? OK, Nina Stibby is... Um, she is a, a woman from Leicester who, um, back in the 80s, decided she wanted to move to London. Um, so she was working in a care home at the time and decided to answer uh, ads in the back of, of a magazine um, to apply to be a nanny. And so she ends up working for, yeah, for this mad bohemian family and um, in this sort of crazy sort of literary world that she's not, not used to at all. And, and yeah, it's, it's about her experience. She writes letters back to her sister, Vic. It's about her experience um, of moving from Leicester to London. And so this is all based around those letters, all those based around real letters. letters. Yeah. And Helena yeah. Bonham Carter plays the, the single mother who yeah. she goes and lives with. And she has a real impact in shaping Nina, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, she, Nina picks up on sort of her, her the way she lives and, and the things that she reads and um, it had a big influence on her, I think. And, and Helena certainly had a big influence on me. We got on very well. And you got on really like, well. Really yeah. well, yeah. It was kind of, I remember sort of when I first met her thinking like how lucky I was to kind of even be in the same room. And yeah, and then the next minute I'm across the table with cameras and doing a scene with her. And it's kind of like a master class, you know, being on she set. Said, you said she was quite mothering. She looked Yeah, hard. yeah. I mean, more like a big sister, I think, with Helly because she's a lot of fun. Um, and she's sort of quite mischievous and we got on very well, yeah. You kept good. in touch? Yeah, we keep in touch, yeah. We still speak to each other. First time, I go around for, you know, to say hello every now and again. So, yeah, it's nice. cool. I'm lucky girl, yeah. Lucky and this girl. is a big a role for you because, because it's written from her perspective. You're in every scene. Every single scene, which is great and I'm not complaining about that, <laughs> um, you know. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was a pretty intense... Pretty intense job. Uh, I had no shoes on for the most of it as well, so I got a cold for six weeks. And well, that's Nina. Her... Nina did. Yeah. This is the real Nina. Nina decided who... that she didn't like to wear shoes, so therefore it was written into the script. And uh, yeah, I spent six weeks without any shoes. On. Walking around the streets of London. Walking around the streets of London, which you know, it was How a lot of fun. How did they look after you? Water bottles. Lots of water bottles on my legs, sweeping the floor. I actually tried it. I tried it out before we started filming. I walked to my local Tesco, like, with no shoes on, and uh, the director was like, please don't do that, you know, cut your, cut your feet and stuff. So. <laughs> they were sweeping. Yeah, they, they were on set, sure but when I was right. just walking to get my milk and stuff, you know... Um, Suffering for you. Yeah. You met the real Nina. I did, yeah. yeah. What was she I'm, like? She's amazing. Um, full of energy, very inquisitive. Um, she, you know, she, she wants to find out about you and find out about your life. And so when I, when I was sort of thinking how am I going to play this woman, I took, tried to take the spirit of her and, yeah, she's got a massive heart. But you said she's, actually, Nina, is similar to you. When you arrived in mm. London, um, yeah. you were wide-eyed and excited. Yeah, definitely. I was very scared as well. As you can tell, I'm quite a nervous person. Um, mm. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. She, she arrived and it's the culture shock, you know, it's the pace of things. I grew up in the northeast of England. Hello, Teesside, I must say. Hello. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, it was it was much slower slower pace in my life. I'm from a, a very normal working class background, um, and so coming to London with the you know the culture and the pace and the speed of everything is amazing. But it was quite scary. Has she well. seen any of it? Has she seen? I believe she has. I, I've been filming something else, so I couldn't go to the screen in a couple of. Uh, it was last week. Um, but she has seen it and um, I well, think if she's you're very nervous pleased. about doing this you would have been very nervous sitting in the same room as her I imagine yeah to see what her reaction would be just a little bit yeah yeah, yeah. and I think when it when it comes out on Friday on BBC one half past nine <laughs> um, I will be on an airplane going to do some shooting so you know it's kind of it's kind of a blessing really because I'm really I mean I'm excited but I'm nervous so. well I don't yeah. know whether it's I don't know whether it's true uh, but but there were words that came back from the editing suite that uh -huh. the episode that she saw she she cried with yeah happiness. yeah 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 Is that true yeah, that's true, yeah. That's she just, she, I, I, it's a good sign. So, you know, it, it's better than crying with sadness, you know, and being yeah. like, what, have she, what has this girl done to my... Uh... <laughs> well, you know very well that you can't possibly sit on this sofa without us mentioning the other thing the that other you might thing. be doing. Um, and you don't, I mean, you say you're a nervous person, but, yeah. you know, you wield a stick very well. Well, you know, I had one's training to do that. And... Out in the street, battering her with a stick, sort of teaching her how to fight yeah. and not be able to see. Yeah. Did you hit her properly? Um... A few times we hit each other quite badly, actually, when we weren't supposed to. Our ears were really red, a few sort of ankles and leg shots. Um, I remember getting Maisie right in the tummy really hard one time and she was just like, my sake, can you not? Yeah. Because um, we were tired as well, you know. Um, but we, f we, we, sh we, we trained for a month and, and so we had an amazing team sort of teaching us how to do the quarter staff stuff. So we got quite, uh, quite good at it in the end, yeah. And, and so the training's tough, but probably the hardest part of being involved in a show like that is keeping the secrets. Yeah, it's really annoying, actually. Um, but, you know, it's part of the, the magic of Game of Thrones, all those secrets. And 
um, that you know there's there's more to come. I think this season. I can't say anything, but it's. Oh, I wouldn't be, want you to. It's going to be a good thing. Yeah, you would. Oh, no, I wouldn't. You wouldn't. I don't want to know. Oh, really? No, no, seriously. Oh, really? I don't you want don't. To know. I'm such a okay. massive now fan. She wants I don't to want tell to. Now I want to tell you <laughs> afterwards. No, don't tell me anything. No, no, I, I don't mean, want I to won't. know. I won't. I won't. I won't. What's interesting is, and then this is, I'm, 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 this is a spoiler now. If you are like on series one or series two or series three, uh, or you haven't watched the last few episodes of the current season, uh, this is a spoiler alert. Oh, massive. I'm about to say something really big now if you haven't watched it you have two seconds <laughs> Jon Snow yeah so you knew I knew and we had um, the lovely Sophie Turner in here who plays mm -hmm. Sansa mm -hmm. she gave him a uh, uh, Kit Harrington a leaving card because oh, yeah. uh, she thought he was genuinely leaving yeah 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 I think you know they're really good at keeping secrets the writers you know if they're gonna write something it's it's written in different code names and all sorts of stuff. So nobody really knew until. But how did you know? Because you, you're I can't not even. Tell you how I know. But I can't you. Tell you. Is it what something to do with what's coming up? Oh no! I'm, going I'm just going to leave that. You're not even in the same part of the country. I'm not in the same yeah, part of the country. Can happen, you but anything can happen. Like I just Trump. wouldn't. I wouldn't even go near that. Oh, yeah. I've, oh my God! No, what have stop, I just done? Stop. <laughs> He's done it's nothing. Just it's fine, stop guys. Stop there <laughs> now. All is well. Um, well, it's really. Like, how was that? Was that okay? Did, how was your first time? First one. So what on this? Yeah. Yeah, great. Thank Is that you. Easy than yeah. thought. I feel a bit more relaxed now. Yeah. Good. Can I just congratulate Middlesbrough Football Club to getting in the Premier League? I just yes. feel like I have to do that because it's been a long time and. You know, Teesside needs something to smile about at the moment. And hello to my dad who is watching right now. Oh, and what's else. your dad's name? Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Hi, Christopher. There we go. Well, you've done really well. You found the right camera. You've done, you know. <laughs> I keep looking over there, though. There I am. There I think go. that's a, that's a perfect <laughs> first live interview. Yes, thank, thank you, you very so well. much for having me. Oh, it's, a, it's a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, Lovelina starts tomorrow at 9.30 on BBC One. Thank and if you you're a Game much. of Thrones thank fan, you. then you know exactly where to find that. Hello YouTube, for more of the same just click here and don't forget you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. I mean I'm around Americans a lot so I, I kind of can kind of slip into it but then sometimes you know people will be like oh you sound like you're a bit from Milwaukee and I'm like how? <laughs> how do I go from standard America anyway?